Good morning, everyone. The Honorable the Judges of this competition, whom the speaker respect, all attenders, and also all participants were happy today. Let us praise the presence of God who has given His mercy on us so that we can get it today in good condition. Ladies and gentlemen, let I introduce myself. My name is Tessa Fenrika Sitompul. I'm a medical record student of Duta Bangsa University. Participants were happy today. In this chance, the speaker would like to refer the speech title Patient Identity on Electronic Heart Record. Are you interested in this topic? Yes, as a medical recorder, it is an important thing. So, in this moment, the speaker is going to refer three points. The first point is Electronic Heart Record on Industrial Revolution 4.0. The second point is Case on Electronic Heart Record. And the last point is How to Protect Patient Identity. Ladies and gentlemen, the first point is electronic heart record on Industrial Revolution 4.0. Do you know what is electronic heart record? I think all of you already know because this is not a new topic. In Industrial Revolution 4.0, everything must be automatic. One of them, automatic service on hold. With all the technological development in this era, virus care and treatment innovation are born. Some of these include electronic medical storage and cold storage, as well as telemunition and artificial intelligence along with, along with a variety of other digital-based health technologies. Using computer as a means of producing and transmitting of medical information is an effort that can accelerate and prolong the movement of medical information in the interest of accuracy of medical action. However, this ongoing development and the incorporation of technology in the health system are just the importance of healthcare data security. In fact, with technology that significantly benefit the health sector, but it, ha but it has several weaknesses. And one of the main weaknesses is the challenge of maintaining patient personal data. Okay, now we go to the second point. The second point is about has on electronic heart record. Electronic heart record not only give us advantages, but also give disadvantages. It gives us an advantage in exchanging data and information. Information system can facilitate communication between nurse, doctors, and other health team members and improve patient outcomes. In addition, the use of information system will ensure the complement the completeness of patient care documentation, facilitate evaluation of patient outcomes, and improve patient safety. Here is a sample of case of this advantage using electronic health record. The fact how far the hospital is able to provide protection for the safety of patient data from irresponsible people. Happened in one hospital in Samarinda in, Mar in March 2019, a court fraud by telephone by this claiming to be a doctor in the hospital amounting to 8.8 million rupees to parents of baby. The money is claimed for operating equipment that is only owned by other hospital. All infants, parents, and illness data are known by a fraudster. What if your personal information is used for fraud, access to pornography, banking abuse, dropping job or deformation. In 2016, there were 68 cases of identity theft with a percentage of resolution of 22.06%. And in 2016, there were, there were 18 cases and the settlement of cases was only 5.56%. In May 2017, the WannaCry type ransomware virus had attacked computer system in the several hospitals in Indonesia, namely Harapan Kita Hospital and Dharmais Hospital at a university in November. This virus had has the data hosted and asked for a ransom of money. The maker of WannaCry asked for 4 million rupees as a ransom. According to Kaspersky Lab, Indonesia is the second worst country after Russia in terms of being a victim of 
ransomware attacks WannaCry. Whereas in June 2017, the ransomware virus again attacked with a different tag, namely the Petya ransomware. At present, hard surface data is undoubtedly the most sensitive type of personal information. The type of data that is most sought after and most often violated. Hat records are gradually becoming more attractive target target for hackers, making security of patient data an increasingly challenging task. Okay, next, our last point: Who protect the electronic heart record? That we are medical recorder. Now, my question: What can we do as a medical recorder to maintain patient identity on electronic heart record? One of the prevent measures that we can implement is make role-based access. Let me illustrate this to you. Many systems will usually allow health service to uniquely configure the software that limits the different system level to different personnel. If staff member has a login or key that limits their access to only the part of the program they need as well, as well as limited relevant data. For example, in a healthcare provider system that includes a practice management system, hospital receptionists may only need to utilize the scheduling application. In such access, role-based access doesn't allow individual to get access to financial data or clinical data. With this approach, healthcare provider can effectively increase privacy and subsequently prevent. For example, the use of PHI in committing fraud was more where the, the user misplaced a password or stolen. Because the user has limited access to the system, it limits the total DMAC that can be exploited by in, introduced. This, this is addition to HIPAA regulation and other innovations, innovative with, which are also a strong starting point for building effective data protection system and avoiding adverse consequences. Ladies and gentlemen, the conclusion of this speech is to protect the patient identity on electronic health record. It's very important to provide the security and protection of patient data with role-based access. So, optimizing the quality of privacy and data security of your medical record can work well. To super development as a generation of the of industrial revolution 4.0, we must be able to use technology as well as possible and create useful updates to improve health for generation to come. The speaker thinks that all of this speech is enough. The speaker hope this speech can be difficult for us. Sorry if there are some mistakes in delivering this speech. Thank for your attention. Good morning everyone. God bless you.